the Maxus Dana V1. Today we are one of the showrooms of SAIC Maxus. This Maxus Dana V1 was released in 2023 by SAIC Motors. This is an electric logistics van. It's purely electric. We can see how long this car is. This van is. We're going to go inside. We're going to show you the exterior, the interior, and we're going to talk about the technical details in the studio. Now, Maxus offers the Dana V1 in about six trims. Inside of these six trims, we can subdivide them into two, the short axle trims and the high axle trims. For brevity sake, we will be abbreviating in the following ways. Feel free to come back to this section at any time you want. For the short axle high top, we are going to refer to that one as SAHT. For the short axle low top, we are going to refer to that one as SALT. For the low axle low top, we are going to refer to that one as LALT. For the long axle high top, we are going to refer to that one as LAHT. For the short axle trims, we have the short axle low top and the short axle low top plus. We also have the short axle high top and the short axle high top plus. For the long axle trims, we have the long axle high top and the long axle low top. All the trims have this manually adjustable halogen headlight. This is a manually adjustable halogen headlight. It's not purely electric like the other ones. There is an option to have an LED headlight in place of this halogen bulb. There is an LED running daylight system for all trims. The delayed headlight feature is also available. All the trims have the auto dimming or auto sensing headlight feature, which is quite popular in China. The auto dimming feature detects where you are and helps to dim the light. So if you're in a place, a dark place like a tunnel, the auto dimming feature on this van will actually help reduce the lightning or increase it depending on the lightning of the place. Now for the fog lights, the fog lights on the Dana V1 is an LED as we can see. But when it comes to the rear brake light, this is a halogen light bulb. There is a side entrance door on all trims, but you have an option to actually have this door on both sides. The door slides like this, so you can have this same option on the other side. If we go to the other side, you're going to see that there is no sliding door on that other side. This is how it closes. It's smooth, yeah? I think it's quite smooth. So it's not an electric door. This is actually a manual door. Folding door option is available on only the high trims as you have it on the SAHT, the SAHT Plus, and the LAHT Plus. For the other one that opens up, the opening, the, the back opening, you have that on the LALT, the LA, on the SLT, the SLT Plus. The Maxus Dana V1 comes in about three colors, three confirmed colors. They had white, this is the white, then you have the black, then you also have the cement ash color. So you can decide to pick any one you want. When it comes to the wheels, yeah, the only thing you get is a steel wheel. You don't have an alloy wheel, it's not a fancy car, it's a van, yeah? So this is the steel wheel that is available on all trims. You don't get to get an alloy wheel. And the measurement of it is the 19570R15LT tires. So this is the tire you get, which is quite strong. For the tire, I can say that it's made by one knee, one knee. The exterior rear view mirror is the same for all trims. This is a manually adjustable exterior rear view mirror. So you don't get it up the electronically adjustable rear view mirror. So to adjust it, you just need to pull it. It's actually just two ways. If you're worried about the dimensions, you want to know which trim to go for, the height, the length, and all this, we're going to list all of that in this section. Now, since we have six trims for the Dana V1, all the trims actually differ. The SALT trims have the following dimensions. Length, 4800, width, 1870, height, 1960, all in millimeters. The SAHT trims have 4800 by 1870 by 2180, all in millimeters. The LAIT trims have 5250 by 1870 by 1960 millimeters. The LAHT trims have 5250 by 1870 by 2180 millimeters. Now, if you want to enter the Dana V1, there is an option to have the keyless entry or you can open it. There's an app, but for now, this is the main key of the Dana V1. So this just has three buttons. You can see it just has only three buttons. We have the lock, the unlock, and to open the boat. So these are just the three options on this key. Well, the key is a little bit fancy. I like the design of the key. Personally, it's okay. You just open once, it opens, then you just go in. So it's actually very, very simple. When it comes to the interior, the colors, we can see that the color of the interior is just like a gray. And they say this is the gray bay rice color, gray color. So this is the mixture of 
gray. Like it's there's a lot of grays inside, and you don't get any other colors. All of the in all of the trims, they have the same color. This gray and gray bay rice colors or whatever. So that is the color you get for the interior. But for me personally, I would have preferred another color. For the color of the interior, I think I like it. I think I like the the design actually worked very well with it because everything is just uh, matching each other. This this uh, something like uh, white, the gray. Then you have this other bay rice color. Then you have this gray over here. Then you have every other thing. I think it just fits in very, very well. The Dana V1's driver seat can only be adjusted manually in four ways. Manually, this is the one, two, three, and four. This is the four way manual adjustment. It can only be adjusted manually in four ways. This is also manual. So this is not an automatic, it's a van, it's a utility vehicle, it's a logistic vehicle. Then also for these passengers' chairs, you have the option to upgrade to a two-way manually adjustable passenger seat. So that's an option for you, that's an upgrade for you if you want it for the passengers in the Dana V1 van. For the driver, the driver only gets this seven inch LCD. This is an LCD screen, but this has the inbuilt camera, reverse camera system. So let's try and see, let's put the car on reverse. So we can see it has the reverse camera, which is ready as we're, as you're speaking. So this is the reverse camera. So we go back to parking. So this is now in drive, but we can put it back to parking. So this is the seven inch LCD screen for the driver. Or you have an option, as you can see here, it's totally empty, but there is an op option to have a 12.3 inch LED screen. Let's see how big the internal cargo compartment is. This opens this way. This is a folding door. Now this can also be opened this way. So we can go inside and see the length. It's actually quite big. You can see how big it is. I know I'm back, I'm sorry. So you get one light here, okay? So that's just it. SALT trims, the cargo compartment length is 2705, the weight is 174 mm, the height is 1480. The cargo compartment for the SAHT is the same as the SALT with a difference in height. The height of the SAHT trims is 1700 millimeters. The cargo compartment for the LALT trims length is 3155 millimeters, the weight is 1774 millimeters, the height is 1480 millimeters. Now, the height of the LAHT is 1700 millimeters, as opposed to the 1480 millimeters of the LALT trim. For the curb weight, which is the weight of a car without a driver, passenger, and any external load, the short axle trims ranges from 1,500 kg to 1,645 kg and the long axle curb weight ranges from 1,750 kg to 1,835 kg. The rated load quality the Dana V1 is designed to carry ranges from 1,210 kg to 1,420 kg for the short axle trims. When we say the rated load quality, we are referring to the maximum weight or load capacity of a van. The gross vehicle weight rating of this Dana V1 is 3,050 kilograms for the short axle trims and 3,500 for the long axle trims. The gross vehicle weight can also be referred to as the maximum total design mass. So whenever you see the maximum total design mass in any car brochure, just know that they're talking about the gross vehicle weight. When it comes to the floor material of the compartment area, which is very important for something like a van, you get two options, the wooden parquet floor, but you also get the option to upgrade to a blister flooring. Blister floorings are very important because it helps in preventing the slipping of load. So if you have a lot of load in the back and you have a wooden parquet floor, the possibility of it sliding is very high if you don't use the, the accessories that can help hold the load in a place. But if you want the blister flooring, you can actually pay for it and get that upgrade. Let's talk about the cargo compartment interior, the partition of the cargo compartments. Let's go in. 
As you can see, it's closed off from the interior. There is no door. I do personally wish that they had something like a door for the cargo compartment. So it's so I can be moving around on the van from the interior into the back. Maybe I have something I want to take or maybe the goods fell off or something and I want to pick it up or be sure or just to check. You know, I think it's important to have a door for a cargo compartment. Now, when it comes to the van, there is also a strapping ring over here. One, two, three, four strapping rings. This is one of the strapping rings. This is another one. Strapping rings are quite important due to the way it provides more safety for the goods in the back during transportation. So we have four strapping rings for the Dana V1. There are four strapping rings on the floor. One, two, three, four. It's positioned specially in the four places. So you do get this as a default and it's default for all trims. For the spare tire, there is a full spare tire option, which is default for all trims. The car all has the power window. You can open it so it's not like the manual <laughs> winding window. So all of them, I can see the other one turning, uh, winding up. When it comes to the sound speaker system, there are only two sound speaker systems that can be seen on the two doors of the car. There is one on the driver's door and there is another one on the passenger's door. The air conditioning on the Dana V1 is a manual air conditioning. To turn it on, you just have to press here. Now it's on, it's blowing, it's manual. You can change to whatever you want from here, here, direction. Then you can just off it with this button over here. So all the controls for the air condition is here. So you also get all the other systems, the SRC, the call, the notice, and every other thing. For the knob, the control knob, that's the gear knob, you have it here on the steering. So we have the pack, the reverse, the neutral and the drive all here. Then you get for the lighting system over here too, all the lightning system is here two when it comes to the other controls like for the light also where you can change the uh the mode of the lightning and every other thing it's over here so it's below the steering wheel the steering wheel is not adjustable it's not adjustable there are only two usb ports on the whole car you only get two USB ports on the whole car, which is just below the cup holder. Now to open the cup holder, you just press here, you just slide out, and that's it for the cup holder, which is just above the two USB ports. There is nothing here, only this net. You can see only the net here. There is nothing else, this is just the knob. For the inside, there is not much inside. You can see there is not much inside of the car. Basically simple, which is not bad for a van. It's not really bad for a van. It's quite simple. For the interior lightning, this is the knob. You can turn it off. This is on. Then for the door, when the doors are open, so this is the off. Then above the, this is the interior lightning. This is the on. So this is just the setting. It usually has just basic settings. Now for the hazard lights, this is for the hazard lights. It's up here because there is no place to put it over here. So they just put it up here. So this is the hazard light. As you can hear, this is just the hazard light. So it's actually very, very simple. So up here, there is a space up here. There is a space up here. I don't know what the space is for. Probably it's actually dusty, but probably if you want to put in some, I think it's just a storage space. There's a storage space on top of here. This is also available on all trims. Now coming up here, this material is quite, uh, just looks basic, like a basic uh, plastic. You get the air vents for the air conditioning, the defrosting, and every the other thing, which is, I think is available on all trims too. A lot can be done with the app. For example, the Dana app on your phone connects using the Bluetooth to the van and then uses the hotspot to provide the van with features like internet, map navigation, and voice interaction. The maximum climbing extent, often referred to as the maximum grade for the Dana V1, differs across the two major trims. The short axle has a maximum gradeability of 25%, while the long axle trims have a maximum gradeability of 30%. You might also be wondering what the suspension on the Dana V1 is. For the front, you get the McPherson independent suspension system, and the rear just comes with the leaf link suspension system. 
The LeafLink is still popular today due to its suitability in heavy duty applications like the van. The van is supposed to be carrying a lot of heavy things. So definitely the LeafLink suspension system does it. If you're worried about the suspension system of the Dana V1, I would say don't worry. Again, it has the McPherson for the front suspension and it has the leaf link for the rear suspension. The Dana V1 uses the adjustable regenerative braking system or the brake energy recovery system. In hybrid and electric vehicles, regenerative braking helps to improve overall efficiency and also to increase the vehicle's range by recycling energy that would otherwise be wasted. When the vehicle accelerates again, this stored energy can be used to power the electric motor, reducing the demand on the battery and improving fuel economy in hybrid vehicles. The battery capacity of the trims differ. The battery capacity of the SALT trims is 43 kilowatt hour, SALT plus 42, SAHT is 43, SAHT plus is 42. The long gas trims both have the same battery capacity of 51 kilowatt hour. The DC fast charging capability is available on all trims. And in just about 36 minutes, you are able to get from 20% to 80% of charge. DC chargers in China is getting more affordable as more manufacturers get into its production. The AC slow charge feature is available on the long axle trims. A full slow AC charge can be achieved in about 5 hours for the long axle trims. The motor rating for the short axle trims is 50 kW while that of the long axle trims is 60 kW. The peak power for the short axle is 90 kW while that of the long axle is 120 kW. The maximum engine torque for the short axle trim is 190 Nm while the maximum engine torque for the long axle is 240 Nm. For the horsepower, the maximum rated power is 87 Nm for the short axle trims and 115 Nm for the long axle trims. In order to explain the range to you, we need to understand what CLT is. Before going on, CLTC stands for China Light Duty Vehicle Test Cycle. The CLTC combined range for the short axle trims in the Dana V1 differs. The SALT is 305 km, the SALT Plus with 290 km, SAHT has 270 km, SAHT Plus has 260 km of range. The CLTC combined range for the long axle trims also differ. The LALT has 320 km, the LAHT has 305 km. This is quite impressive as I was not expecting the long axle to have longer range. To regulate the temperature of the battery and prevent overheating during summer, SAIC Maxus is using the liquid cooling battery temperature management system. SAIC Maxus offers a 3-year 80,000 km vehicle warranty on the Dana V1. For the electric motor control of the Dana V1, there is a 5-year warranty or 20,000 km warranty. Impressive. For the battery, the warranty differs across all trims. All trims have a warranty of 8 years or 40,000 battery warranty with an option to increase the mileage warranty to 50,000 on the plus trims. As you know, SAIC are the makers of the battery on this Dana V1. So obviously that is why you have a longer warranty for the batteries. The Matos Dana V1 is quite affordable. It's not so expensive. It's not also cheap. For the short axle trims, you can get it for about 25 to $30,000 depending on the configuration you go for. When it comes to the long axle trims, you can get it for around thirty to $35,000. In RMP, that should be around $165,000 to $170,000. I believe it's not so expensive. If you go into the logistics vans business, you're going to see that it's not so expensive. It's actually in the middle, you know, it's in the middle. It's not so expensive, it's not so uh, cheap. 